Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode. And in last episode, we have uh, designed our we had designed our categories. So and in this episode, uh, I will show you how to design this uh, product section. I mean this product card and the latest product area. And also, if possible, we will go through the product page also. So uh, creating our product page. Okay, so guys, uh, uh, this uh, this was our final work. So here you can check. So we just work on our category. So in today I will work on our product section. So in component directory, I am going to create a folder. whose name is product, and inside the product, um, I am going to create uh, if another folder which is for card and uh, into product directory i'm going to create another file which is a latest product so latest products dot this and uh, in, in inside the card directory i'm going to create two files one for css and one for card so let's create the file yeah i have created the file and here i'm going to write rfc to create the component arrow function So I have created the arrow function component and into the card uh, CSS file I am just going to copy a few lines of CSS from my previous repository so here I am going to copy and paste so here the class name is uh, custom card and it's height 100% background color uh, it's dim white and then box shadow and a button and the card image has a minimum height maximum height 150 pixel and object fit contain okay so let's uh, go and uh, import the card uh, css into the file so import and then oh, shit. it should be import okay and uh, in the return statement i'm going to remove this i'm going to start a fragment from react and inside the fragment at first this card will behave as a link so the whole card will behave as a link so when you click on the card it will redirect you to the product details page so i'm going to start a link from react router dom and this link yes must have a path so to so it will be dynamic so so it should be product product slash and here it should be a product id so product product dash id okay so and yes we will definitely pass the props here okay and we got our product id and inside the link i'm going to create our card component so from react router dom card so sorry react bootstrap card and inside the card at first uh, we are having a card image card dot uh, image okay so at first uh, let me uh, give the custom class we have had we have made for our product uh, card so the class name is custom dash card and also for the image we have a class class name padding y axis 3 and uh, card image this is our custom class and also set the variant variant is top so the image will be shown on the top and uh, yes the image should have a source search source and this should be product dot image and uh, close it here and remove this ah. So this this was for our card image and now let's go for card body. So card dot body and then inside the card body at first we are having a card title card dot title and uh, title are having a class name font size 
so font size is 6 and uh, the title is product dot title and say size 0 comma 25 or 30 so the word limit is 30 so because sometimes the product title is too large and then it will overflow the card so that's why i'm just uh, concreting the card title and then card text and this also having class name text decoration none and font size 6 okay so this one would be our product product dot category okay and then we are uh, going to show our uh, product price so it's five dollar so because this is the symbol dollar and then say product dot price and so we should check out the product uh, so yeah we are having title category price and star rating okay. let us For start uh, is uh, nothing much uh, uh, we are going to pass a fake store dot api then uh, so read the docs and here i am going to get a single product so basically get a single so it's cut and then update products category unit get a single product so if i click on show output so i'm just going to copy this part so you can see it will just uh, copy this one and uh, paste it here so it will return this type of array so i'm just uh, going to copy select on copy and uh, then come back here and let's say initially let's say here i can say constant product equal to and array of object okay so this is our product with all description image clothes category and just with all things okay and just okay and come back to our return area so i'm going to return a container so first uh, container container from react bootstrap okay import that inside the container we are having a title s3 this is as a class name and having text center then margin bottom 4 okay and uh, saying latest products okay and in inside that we are uh, having a row and in a row we will show for product card i think so so let's check it out what so if i go to home page and we are showing six we are showing six product item so uh, in a row so from row from react bootstrap okay and then a column column okay and the yes import the column here okay and the column i'm going to pass uh, extra small is uh, 12 and then small is going to 6 and uh, medium going to 4 and um, large going to six okay so not not six so it should be two so 
and the class name class name is mb4 and uh, yeah the master require the key so right now i'm not uh, adding any key i value so here i'm just going to call our product card and this product card i'm going to pass product product as a as we have seen our product here okay i think uh, we am i'm done with this latest product so here we are having an error i think it will go later so and then no, import the latest product so okay i think i'm done with this one so let's go back to what we are having so this is a product card and um, text is dark and text decoration is none so text capitalize text decoration none title and this link has a class name so control is me i'm going to paste it here so text dark text decoration is none and refresh it yeah we got our product but i think the text is in center so just uh, check the code here so card body is a class name which is text center refresh it ah now we got our similar card product but uh, we are able to resolve this star rating so i will check it out later so uh, this is our basic uh, product card design and inside the products uh, i'm going to um, uh, create our product page yeah we already have product page and already have uh, never had our folder so there i am going to so in pages uh, let's uh, create a folder here for product so for pages let's say products and uh, just uh, so i'm going to move this okay move that okay so i'm going to yes okay friends uh, so uh, that's all for today's video and um, we'll see you in the next video we'll design our products and the product page showing all products and then products detail page and also uh, we'll show our category pages so where we'll show our category products so guys see you on next video